Our guide, Colonel Nini here. Formation flying. Utterly awesome. Ausgezeichnet. The ultimate in flying precision, skill, and teamwork. So do we need to learn it in the game? Absolutely not. Precision formation flying takes an awful lot of concentration. Formation flying is great practice for, well, formation flying. In the early stages of World War II, they found that fighter pilots were so intent on keeping their position in formation, it took away from their primary role to be looking out for the enemy. There were different configurations for fighters and different configurations for bombers. For maximum defense, the American bombing formations flew in very tight groups and boxes. Luftwaffe fighter pilots called this formation a Stachelschwein or flying porcupine because of the number of heavy machine guns, with each B-17 sporting 10 50 caliber guns. But the German pilots managed to get in and break up these formations and shoot them down anyway. Meanwhile, the Royal Air Force Bomber Command would generally fly their missions at night, where it was very difficult to fly in formation and they adopted a same way, same day kind of policy. Another downside to having all the bombers in one very close formation was that the anti-aircraft gunners could have a field day by shooting into the box and being sure of hitting somebody. And if the formation was disrupted, you could end up dropping your bombs on the fellow below you. It was very clear that these bomber formations did not really work. And the only way to protect them would be to use long-range escort fighters, such as the P-51, the P-38, and the P-47. They could stay with the bombers to and from their targets and provide protection. Personally, as a fighter pilot, I like it when people fly in formation because it gives me a choice of two targets in the same place. If these two guys had split up when they saw me, one of them might have survived because I may not have been able to find him after I'd shot down the first one. So that brings us to the fighter formations. Generally, the RAF would fly tighter formations and the German Luftwaffe would fly more loose formation. But they all adhered to the basic follow the leader principles. For fighters, no matter what formation they chose, there was only one consideration. And that was for the security of the group that everyone's eyes were outside looking for hostiles and not concentrate on how close you could fly to your neighbor's wingtip. These Red Arrow pilots can give 100% concentration because they're not likely to be shot down at the airshow. Now that's how it should be done. So let's take a very basic look at how to fly in formation in the game. I'm going to formate on this JU-88. So this is the Wings of Liberty server and there are 35 hostile aircraft out there and I have to keep an eye out for them as well as trying to formate on this Junkers 88. Without any communications with the aircraft I don't know what his heading is or what his speed will be in the climb or in the cruise. My first guesstimate is that he's going to be going on a heading of about east at about 280. I'm doing about 320, so I should catch up to him fairly quickly. Notice how I'm approaching from slightly below him and keeping him bracketed in that side window. If he's in the center of that side window, I know where to find him. And that allows me to look around for other traffic and know where he's going to be next. And once he's in that position, I can then reduce the power and raise the nose to slow down to match his speed. So notice what power and attitude settings you have, which will match his speed, and that will keep you on station. 
And don't forget to trim the aircraft for the speed. Then it's just a case of matching what he does. If he starts a turn, you follow in suit. You can see that he's appearing to look a little smaller. So we're getting further apart, and that's either because my heading is slightly off, or his heading has changed or slightly off mine. Let's try and approach and formate from the left-hand side this time. You can see from this diagram that I'm trying to hold the position of the aircraft on the right. We'll try and simulate that from the left as well. I know he's doing 280 and I'm doing 400, so I have to judge when to pull the power back to slow down and end up at the same speed as him. So to match that diagram, this is where it gets really cool. We are going to bracket the aircraft in the center of that window. The trick now is to do everything possible to keep that aircraft the same size in the center of that screen. Then you know you're on station. Next is to decide whether you want to be above or below this aircraft. Just use your gun sight as a horizontal reference. We can tighten up the formation by flying closer by making him bigger in the windscreen. If we get this close we're in danger of collision. And now I've just lost sight of him, so now I need to break away. He can see me through the top of his canopy, but I can't see him. So he should continue his heading as he's the lead. And once I relocate him, I will formate again. The only problem is I might lose him in this maneuver. In which case I'll just regain the same heading and add the power. He's got to be along that route somewhere. Okay, catching up nicely, and now he's deciding to turn, so I will match his angle of bank with mine, keeping him bracketed in my window. So this is the end of my escort mission, time to go home. Please note that what you are about to see is not the approved, correct, or safe method of breaking formation. Do not try this at home. Thanks for watching guys, talk to you next time. If you've enjoyed this video, found it helpful, please like it or subscribe. Or if there's another topic you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment.